Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be watching some of your guys' gameplay and commentating on what you could have done better or um, how to win like a certain matchups or just some tiny misplays and whatnot. But how I did this was I came up with like five stupid questions on my Discord and whoever got it right first got the chance to be selected for the video. Jackson also made it in because I didn't really know he was in the chat and he knows my birthday so... It was a pretty stupid question to ask but yeah, he got it right so... On the bright side we get to watch um, some of his terrible Queen Bow gameplay but yeah. Already got a game here, Chewy, I think is how you say his name. I'm not really too sure, but goes for Fire Spirit. Also goes for Skellies. Okay. So see what he does here. Kind of leaking. Um Alright, that was a really good knight. I like his gameplay so far because um he played a knight above his king, not in the back. Because the opponent cycled an E Spirit, so he probably thought it was log bait, so he didn't want any um princess damage. Or it could also have been an expo deck, so he just played the knight above the king, which is actually really good. I like his gameplay so far. Also, Rocket's a queen. It's going to be RG, but yeah, that Rocket was also good. Um, see what he does here, though. Going to support him a little with the emotes. Plays a log on the left to not take any damage from the Fisher. That was pretty good. Also, cycles a Fire Spirit, possibly to base something out. Okay, got the damage, so that's pretty good. Let's see if he makes a smart play here. I'm going to watch and see what he does and then um, explain later on what I'm thinking right now. Goes for Knight. Okay, not bad. Let's see if he does it. Please don't. Please don't. Come on. All right, there we go. Okay, Um, if you went Axe Bow opposite there, I know most of you guys would Axe Bow opposite when you saw the RG in the back, but if you did, you would have lost the game because the opponent would play um the queen on your Axe Bow and activate ability, and you'd have to worry about like the RG on the left and the queen on the right side. So yeah, this guy's actually playing really well, and I think he's not an Axe Bow main either, so I see a lot of potential in this guy. Goes for Knight on the defense. Not bad. Goes for Hunter in the back. Don't rock at that, please. Yeah, he's not going to. He's pretty smart. He's playing really good, so yeah. Probably not going to rocket that. Let's see what he does here. Uh, ghost in the back. That push looks pretty um, not fun to defend. Okay. You could go for like Axe opposite to pressure. Okay. I mean, pretty good cannon. I thought the Hunter was going to splash onto the tower, but it didn't. So I feel like he's fine here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was a horrible Axe Bow. Should have been counting Elixir and cards, but... I don't blame him though. I think he wanted to get the damage back, but he just expoed at the wrong time. I think he should have expoed immediately when he went for like a lightning on the left. Eat some damage on the left from the ghost and the hunter, just log it or something, and then go for like expo on the right side to get damage, but it's okay. He can afford to take some damage on the right side for now. Um okay. Followed up by second horrible expo. That's also not gonna get any damage because once again he's got a RG, so. See how he deals with the counter push though? He does not need a cannon. I feel like if he plays cannon, he's going to mess up his cycle, so he's got to play a knight and a log. Nice, okay. Pretty good defense, but I don't agree with the expos on offense. See what he does here, though. Queen up high to snipe the hunter. That's actually a really good play. Um, Lightning was also good by opponent. They're both kind of playing good at the moment. See what he does here, though. He's not back to knight, so he's got to get back to a knight. I think he's like one off, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, he was one off. Okay, gets back to a knight, plays it on the queen. Not bad. Queen the back. All right. Loki think he could have rocketed the ghost if he didn't go for like the queen in the back there, but it doesn't matter. As long as you defend now and uh, get some damage later on, I think you'll be able to win. Um, I don't understand that cannon though. That cannon was kind of bad. He played it too high, but got the job done. So I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, playing it low doesn't hurt. That was actually a really good expo. Okay, not gonna lie, I think he outcycles him here. Yeah, that was an insanely good expo. He's like one card off expo. He's back to expo now though, but he played a queen, so he's got to activate ability. Um, queen's about to go invis and the expo's going to lock on, so he's got a lightning to kill the expo, I think. Oh my god, and he played a hunter on top of that, so the hunter's going to die to the cannon. So is the queen. Oh my god, the cannon got so much value. Okay. Got so much damage here, so at this point, I think all he has to do really is just play some defense. Play for time at this point. Just don't get any damage, but just play a good defense and you'll be fine. Log on D is not bad, but that might get a hit. Okay, pretty good fire spirit, not bad. Um, see what he does here, though. Goes for queen, not bad. Got to activate ability after he activates his ability. Oh, that was kind of horrible. Doesn't matter, though. I think the queen walks up to um, Chewie's queen. Nice. Cannon on defense. That's a fat lightning for the opponent. Okay, the fisherman kind of helped him out. It pulled the knight, so the knight actually dodged that lightning, so not bad. Also, he used the axe as like a defense and an offense. That was pretty good though. But yeah, I guess for Rocket, that's actually not bad. Because he forced out an RG on offense. Or what do you call it? Defense for the Axe Bow. And then he rocketed him. And the RG goes opposite lane. So now he's got to worry about the 3 4th HP RG. Or what do you call it? 1 4th. 
Yeah, meant to say one fourth, but yeah, he's not gonna be back to orgy for like a good 10 seconds, I think. Back to it now though, but it doesn't matter. Nine seconds, he's not gonna get at RG log, so. Alright, goes for Rocket to secure the game. I think he played really well for a non-Expo player. I know he doesn't play Expo. He plays something else, but yeah, he's not an Expo main, and uh, he actually played that really well, so. If you're watching this, dude, I like your play style a lot. Similar to mine, but I don't know. I see some differences, though. Alright, Jackson's up next. This gameplay is about to make me want to delete the game, but it's okay. All jokes aside, though, I think he's playing Queen Bill. Also, he hasn't been playing a lot of Clash recently. I think he's playing like a lot of Minecraft and like a lot of Fortnite, so might be a bit washed. We'll see, though. Does go for Log to Cycle. Um, Fire Spirit. Alright, not bad. Looking like a beatdown deck from the other guy. Does go for a queen in the back. E giant in the back. Oh my god, he's one of those. Alright. Um, e giant in the back, definitely not a good sign because they always have a mirror and like golden knight, lightning, and whatnot. So yeah, definitely not a good matchup, but see if he beats it. Activates ability pretty early, not bad. It's gonna DPS on the E giant. Um, I think the queen also lives with like one HP. Not really too sure though. Yeah, she does, okay. Also was kind of a bad E giant on his part. Should have played it up high or like just played it in the back, but he played it in front of the tower, so. Took some damage from that queen and also not gonna get any damage on defense here. Cause I feel like he'll be back to a second cannon. Interesting expo though. I feel like he'll have enough for like a giant skelly by then. Um, I think I know what deck the opponent's playing. He's playing like giant skelly, hunter. Um, oh, he also has a sparky. Okay, that's not fun. Definitely has a NATO cause E giant and uh, something else I forgot, but. I was actually a really good queen because um, I think he knew the elixir, so. He's going to take a lot of damage from that queen. Good defense on the Sparky with that one elixir scaly surround. Uh, yeah, took a lot of damage from the queen, but he is down quite a bit, like two elixir right now. Um, Alright, he's not going to defend that. Pretty smart, I guess. He's saving up the elixir, but if he just kind of like leaks it away, it's not going to be good. So, let's see what he does here. He's BMing a lot. It's kind of funny, but let's see what he does here. Probably gonna go for log. Yeah, it does go for log. Guess there's Skelly King in the back for that um ability. It's fully charged, so he's probably gonna wait till um he has enough for like an E giant and then play it in front of the what do you call it? The Skelly King. Yeah, I, I had a feeling he would do so. Kind of a bad cannon. He could have played it like two tiles to the right side to uh, pull it further away, but it didn't really matter. Okay, um he's gotta get back to a cannon. He's got the three card cycle, so I feel like he'll be back to a cannon. Yep, there it is. Some pretty good defense here, but see what he does here. Okay, decent expo. Um, just gotta watch out for that Sparky on the expo, I think. Yeah, definitely goes for it. I think um, he's about to NATO that too, so it's not good to support it. Yeah, I had a feeling he would do that. Kind of a terrible night. He just kind of fed the Sparky because I think um, he thought he wasn't gonna like NATO the Sparky into the expo, but since he did, um, that was kind of horrible. He fed three elixir, but. Um, he didn't really get punished for it though, because he just went for like E giant in front of this tower, so that's not gonna do anything. Uh, let's go for Skelly King. Kind of a good Skelly King. It pushed the um, E giant off to the side, but wasn't enough to push it onto the tower. It just kind of came back to the cannon, so. Alright, that was a really bad E giant. I think he predicted that, to be honest, because the queen was on the right side, so I think he knew he was gonna E giant mirror on the right side, but yeah. He's got a log here though. Go for a log. Okay, there it is. Alright, yeah, this game now. Um, Jackson played pretty well in my opinion, but the other guy did not play well at all. He had no idea what he was doing. Just had no game knowledge. Alright, next up is username. Oh my goodness, alright. Goes for a golem in the back. Wait, I think I also saw like a Mega Knight and a Wizard on the banner, so might be a mid ladder type of deck. Hopefully he beats it, but not the best time to cycle Arches in the back. Should have cycled it same lane or um, not cycled them at all, but yeah. That was kind of unfortunate. I think he cycled it at the same time he went golem in the back. He's also level 12. Oh my god, I just noticed he's kind of underleveled, so hopefully he beats this. If he does, I might add him, to be honest. Uh, just go for Wizard. Alright, he's got to get back to like a second knight for that Wizard. Let's see what he does here, though. Archers are dead. I spared on that, hopefully. Alright, should have played it like, I don't know, two seconds earlier when the Archers were alive, so you could kind of freeze the Wizard, but it doesn't really matter. One hit is not bad. And he's BMing too, oh my god. Okay, uh, Expo should get a lock here. What? Giant Skelly, Zappies, um, Golem. Alright, I don't know how you beat this, to be honest. If I saw that deck, I would just exit out of the game, but he's still playing, so see what he does here. Oh my god. Dude, this is like the most mid-ladder deck ever. Holy. 
All right, does get a tiny lock. Um, got some of the damage back, but he's got to get a lot of damage back to even it out. Because he's level 12 and the opponent's level 14, so... He's got to get like over like a 1k lock to even the damage out. See what he does here, though. He's back to Golem, so I feel like he's just going to Golem in the back. Um, should be able to punish it, though, if you just get back to Axe and just block the Musketeer. All right, goes for a Musky in the back. If he goes back to Axe you definitely go for like Axe opposite lane, I think. Um... Because he should be able to know if he goes musky in the back, he's not going to be able to golem right away. Does go for golem at the bridge. Um, bit of an unfortunate placement on the Tesla. I think he should have played it like one to the right and one down. So it would have pulled the golem like further away, but it's okay. Is it though? That's going to get um, death bomb or death damage. All right. Not looking good so far because his deck is like super annoying. Plus he took so much damage from that. Oh my god. He also has a Mega Knight. Yeah, I, I could have sworn I saw the banner with like Mega Knight and Wizard, so I kind of knew he had a Mega Knight, but not really at the same time because I thought he put it in for Giant Skelly, but I guess not. Alright, let's go for Axe, he's got a Giant Skelly though. What? Why is he not... Uh, did he lag out? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> what am I watching here? This is so confusing. Um, he played the Giant Skelly late, and then he played a Freeze on the Axe, but he missed the Axe, so... Axe locked on. Um... Let's go for log. Alright, you can fireball cycle that. Just play defense, fireball cycle. I don't even know what that was, but I'm just happy he's going to be able to beat this. Hopefully. Should not lose it from this point. Alright, that was a pretty good test. Oh my god. Yo. No way. Okay. Oh, you got to fireball that. What the hell is that guy playing? Like, actually. I'm so confused right now. Golem, Balloon, Mega Knight, um, Giant Skelly, Freeze. I would hate to face that deck personally, but... He's winning right now, so let's see what he does here. Ice Spirit, all right. Um, 699 is like two fireballs and two logs, if I'm not wrong. So just go for it, man. All right, let's go for defensive expo, but that's like insanely high. He could have played it like one tile lower, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Um, he could try to go for like a musky high to snipe it, but he plays it opposite side. So it's not really going to work out. Um, this is a dead Mega Knight. Also goes for Ice Spirit. That was actually a really good Ice Spirit. He has good micros, though. But yeah, it goes for log, um, fireball, nice, not bad. All you gotta do at this point is just get back to a log and then log his tower to win the game. Um, I'm actually really proud he managed to win this. Wow, okay, I'm gonna add this guy. But yeah, golem, balloon, mega knight, giant skelly, freeze. Alright, watching Vinny now. See what deck he's playing here. It's gonna be expo, but see what variant. Okay, cycle e-spirit, so I guess he's playing 3.0. Yeah, it is going to be Archer, so let's go for Skelly's on defense with that drill. Could be Rocket, could also be Drill Fireball with um, Giant Skelly. Yeah, it's going to be that matchup, so this matchup is actually not very good. It's like an 80-20 matchup for them, I want to say. All you have to do really is just play a Giant Skelly and a Cannon on Axe, but you can't really get any damage. And to get damage, you have to go for like Drill and Fireball. Repeatedly spam Drill, Fireball, and Double and Triple and you win the game. Every time you go in, you get guaranteed damage if you're true blue. If you're true red, you can still get the spawn damage and like fireball log and whatnot. So yeah, just go for arches in the back again. Um, goes for drill, but he played a knight. I think he's true red right now. So the goblin's going to lock on the tower. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Really messes up the um, placement and like damage. Sometimes like if you're having a really close game versus like a drill cycle player, you lose the game automatically. Because every time they play the drill, they get guaranteed damage like one or two steps. So... It's really unfair in my opinion, but there is a way to counter that though. You log the first goblin and then you play um, E-Spirit or like Skellies on the second two goblins. I do that a lot and it's actually really effective. I beat Drill a lot because of that, but yeah. Let's go for Tessa, not bad I guess, but he's going to activate ability, so got to play something else on that. Skellies, alright. Also play E-Spirit on that, alright. Let's play a Knight, but he spent a lot on that queen. He spent like 9 elixir on that, so. Cannon on defense, not bad I guess. That means he's back to drill, so I might go for like drill fireball. Honestly, it would be a pretty bad drill fireball, because then you can go X ball opposite to get a lock. Uh, Alright, goes for E spirit, not bad, but he could have timed them better. I don't think he took a hit there though, so. Um, he played that pretty well. Alright, he's got to go in sometime soon though. I feel like in this matchup, you can get damage in single, or you can just kind of like play some defensive expos and spell cycle. I think he's going for um, spell cycle type of gameplay, so yeah. Does go for defensive expo, might fireball that. Alright, does not go for the fireball, which actually would have been like a really good fireball. Um, see what he does here though. It's a pretty good Tesla on defense. 
does play a drill into it. I think he missed the um, drop damage on that drill, so it's pretty good. Let's go for log on the queen and the drill. Not bad. Um, missed the skellies on the queen, though. Queen finished off the axe, but if he had a defensive axe ball on the field, he would have been able to DPS on that giant skelly on the right side pretty quick. But since he doesn't, I think the axe is going to die. And uh, he might play something else on the field. Uh, Alright, wait, he actually missed the cannon, so he got a lock. And that's not going to kill it. Oh my god, that's actually a really good play by um, Vinny. By protecting the axe, but even though the giant skelly bomb was on it. Um, yeah, let's go for drill fireball. This is what I was talking about um, in double. Every time they go drill fireball, they get guaranteed damage. Especially when you're true red, or what do you call it, true blue. But yeah, let's go for giant skelly. I think he's got to get a second defensive axe bow down and just go for like a third axe bow on offense. Could be wrong though, but I feel like that's how you get damage now. Um, Tesla on defense. Honestly, I think Tesla on defense should be like right in front of your tower to block the drill spawn. Sometimes when you play it like right in front, they can't really place a drill on your tower. You're gonna have to um, choose a different spot to play it on. I do that often to block the drill spot, but I don't really think he knows what he's doing here with the um, drill spawn, so. I think he's fine he's gonna play it in front anyways even though Vinny plays the tesla in front like he's just gonna play it in front of the tesla so it doesn't matter um let's go for a drill in the back i take everything back he does no different drill um spots i guess but yeah was also kind of a good drill because it got a hit fireball here come on no fireball all right kind of a late fireball um but he should be able to get like a tiny amount of damage nice got a tiny lock he's up by like one fireball log maybe two logs but yeah not by a lot. Definitely chokeable, but see what he does here. Archers, all right. Go for knight too. Nice. Um, really good skellies. It's actually gonna block the drill and uh, also kill the goblins. All right. I thought the log missed the drill for a second, but it didn't. Wait, do you get a lock here? Oh my god, you got a lock again. All right. The other guy's just not playing very good at the moment. He's just failing every defense on the expo. Every time he goes in, he's um getting damaged with the expos because the other guy's not playing good defense. Is what I meant to say um fireball cycle now just two fireballs don't gotta do all that but yeah the expo is gonna take the tower because he failed again so honestly that was like really well played versus like a bad matchup but the other guy also did not play well so well played okay watching user now um see what he does here okay he's 0-1 in the classic challenge i think he told me he lagged out so definitely not a good expo he shoved it all the way up high should have played the expo like one lower one to the right but got a lock so see the defense here on the left um goes for a queen playing queen bow not bad i guess okay activate its ability oh my goodness that does not look fun to defend all right really bad cannon think he should have logged first and then try to go for like a cannon but he went for a cannon first so i don't think he's going to be able to defend this yeah bad fire spray on top of that yikes all right that's unfortunate i don't see him coming back from this because the opponent does have a pekka so it's hard to come back um in a two tower situation game because you have to play axe on the other side and they can kind of like drop pekkas on top of your expo so as an expo player if you lose a tower the game's over like you're not going to be able to come back from that my phone's always at 10 percent that's my bad but let's see what he does here okay bomber in the back skelly's in the back all right queen in the back i would not play queen in the back because um all right actually he probably doesn't know the deck but this is muhammad parsa oh my god all right oh uh, i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's a misplayed rocket but i think he's just like giving up at this point not really too sure but yeah this gameplay is not very good um see what he does here though the queen does die uh yeah i was about to say this is muhammad parsa deck so like he's got a balloon arrows nato last card i think um should be that if i'm not wrong but yeah let's go for fire spread on defense here okay i actually took no damage from that took a death bomb but Considering that he wasted a whole rocket, he took no damage from that. Alright, that's just a P.E.K.K.A. on top of the expo. Or not, alright, should have been back to a P.E.K.K.A., but I guess not. Um, let's go for Log, got some chip on the left. But yeah, only way to win this is if we play some good defense on the Graveyard and the Balloon and get a lock somehow when he's down Elixir and can't play like a P.E.K.K.A. or like a Dark Burns on top of the expo. Um, let's go for a Queen there, also goes for a Rocket, and uh, nice, hit the P.E.K.K.A. and the Tower. I thought he missed a Rocket for a second, but he didn't all right cannon high hopefully oh my that's all right that's not good that is not gonna pull the balloon so the balloon's gonna get um quite a lot of hits on the tower probably like two actually yeah it's not too bad but it is pretty bad considering that you're not gonna be able to get any damage um because he can just kind of play stuff on top of your axe bow once again and yeah he's taking a lot of damage back to back so 
Yep, definitely not good gameplay here. Um, I'd say practice a lot in classic challenges, but start with like um, faster decks. Like, don't straight up play like Queen Bow Val. Play like, I don't know, 3.0 and then try to go up to like Queen Bow Knight. Um, play Fireball first and then try to go to Rocket later on. That's what I did, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Just let me know down in the comments if you like this type of content once in a while. Probably gonna do one of these later on. But yeah, just let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. Uh, next video probably gonna be ladder. Also, season ends tomorrow, so I'll try my best to get like a really good finish. But yeah, just gonna say unfortunate because the gameplay was kind of unfortunate. So.